Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Teal Garcia and on this channel we do everything related to photography. So if that interests you, please subscribe because I would love to have you here. Okay, it's Two Minute Tuesday. It's been a minute since I've done a Two Minute Tuesday, but today's Two Minute Tuesday video is all about things you need for photography. It's kind of vague. This is for the person who's like, hmm, I want to be a photographer. Like, what do I need for that? The first one is a reliable camera. This is very obvious. Um, this is not your uncle's camera from 10 years ago and now you want to go take people's portraits. You need a reliable camera that is semi up to date, not something that's again, super old. Um, and I say reliable because you can't be out there. Even if you're just practicing, you're like, oh, I ran a model call and I'm going to do some practice shoots and then your camera crashes and they don't get their photos or you, it crashes in the middle of a session. Reliability is key. It's something, it doesn't have to be newer, but just like making sure you're not using a camera that's already like scraping by. Um, good lenses or two. So I am a big believer in not using kit lenses. So I think that if you want to be a photographer or you plan on running a business eventually, getting lenses that are maybe prime lenses or just upgraded lenses that did not come with the kit of your camera. It didn't come in a box all together with your camera. They're just not that great of lenses. I have a whole video on like what kind of camera and lenses to buy. I will link it below. Just good prime lenses, good quality lenses. Again, your camera body, sure that's important. It needs to be reliable, but it doesn't have to be the biggest and the best. Spend your money on glass. One that people don't think of is having an online gallery or something to deliver photos. So even if you are still practicing and not deciding if it's going to be a hobby or is it going to be something you want to do, having an online gallery or something digital to send people their photos. So whether that be, um, I use shoot proof, I will link it below. They do have a, I think I paid like $20 a month and I get like five or 10,000 photos a month for $20, but they also have a plan that's a hundred photos and it's free. So as long as you only have 100 photos uploaded, so when I was learning and I was only maybe sending people like 10 or 15 photos from the little shoot that we did, I give you a whole bunch on there. And then by the time I needed more space, I could delete those first ones. But yeah, they do have a free plan. The paid plan's better. You get a little bit more stuff with it and obviously you get a lot more storage, but you can customize the galleries. It's wonderful. Love them. You will need a computer, um, obviously. That's a thing. Um, however, I, there has been people that uh, don't have a computer. They're like, well, I edit on my phone. Okay, that's cool. If that's if you've guaranteed that this is going to be hobby and you're doing it for yourself, cool. Are you going to edit a whole session of, you know, 500 photos on your phone? Probably not. So I recommend having a computer, but not just any computer. You need a computer that is capable of running the programs that you need to edit. You need lots of RAM, you need a fast processor, you cannot just buy a $400 computer and make it work. I'm sorry, it'll work at first, but it will not. That's probably your biggest investment will be, besides camera obviously, besides camera gear, a really good computer to edit on is going to be your biggest investment. Um, I'm not super computer savvy. I did just get a new computer, so I will link that video below and I kind of talk a little bit more about computer specs and what I looked for when I got a new computer. So that video also linked below. Here we are at our very last one and that is the editing programs that you need. Just stick with the classics, stick with Lightroom and Photoshop. Like you can go and spend time learning other ones, but to be an actual photographer, I do believe that you need at least knowledge in Lightroom. And if you can and have the time and have the willingness to learn Photoshop as well, and you can get them as a bundle for like $9.99 a month. Like it really is not gonna break the bank. Okay, that's all I have. Obviously, if you're deciding to start a business, you need to do the other things like finding out how to pay taxes, you know, and how to run a business in your area. I cannot talk on that because it's so different in every state and every county and every country. But these are the things like you need to have, I think the things that I listed, you need to have those in place and have those things to really even consider photography being more than just like a, I like to take pictures. I hope this video was helpful, probably longer than two minutes. Sorry about that, <laughs> but I knew it didn't require a whole long video. So, all right, that is all I have for today. If you have not subscribed, please do so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, ask me in the comments and I will be sure to answer. That's all I have for today. I will see you next time. Bye.